So what is new? What is new? What did we do as an update? Uh, trying to maintain uh, what was there and has been proven to work. Um, we did uh, the McGraw-Hill publication of Course 4 is out now with the Facing Pages Teacher's Guide. If those of you may have been aware that um, that was not out the last time. And actually part of the reason it was not published the last time be it is because it was in the format of the first edition where there were 10 units. And um, that kind of organization didn't seem to play all that well in the field. And our mathematician advisors, who you will see their names in the front of the book, said really what you need is a pre-calculus book because you are still confronting the belief that if students learn um, integrated mathematics, they will not be prepared for pre-calculus. So they advised um, that we do a pre-calculus book rather than a topics book or a course that you could, a book that you could develop your own course from. So we did that. So the course four now is a preparation for calculus book and it includes um, the functions and transformations and counting and induction and trig and you know, all of that, that content that we typically do in a pre-calculus course. We did um, do some more major uh, reworking in the transformational geometry. Um, there was transformational geometry embedded in our materials, those of you that know it, all the way from course two, where we're looking at coordinate transformations prior to the synthetic transformations. And actually, the way the Common Core is laid out now, some of that's in middle school. It's in both the coordinate transformations. And it was in some of the other NSF middle school programs, such as Connected Mathematics had coordinate transformational geometry uh, with, with in their middle school program too. So in this time of transition, you know, where things are taught in your school district um, will basically align with what your state is doing, but it may be a little bit different than in other school district too. Domain and range, but again, um, we, our philosophy is not to introduce a language until it's needed, and needed is a relative term in, you know, this day and age with standards changing from state to state and month to month. End behavior. That was not language we used before, pre-calculus before, but now it's earlier. So kids can understand that. The uh, solving of equations algebraic skill is um, a little um, higher than it was before and more distributed review on that. More recent research on distributed and interleafed review is that that's what gets retention, not the repeating a lot of them at the same time, but continuing to hit the distributed review. So you'll see more distributed review of those types of problems that you can access, like some teachers used to do with the um, warm-up task. Um, but um, the distributed review where they don't have to use it that day is really the best for retention. Multiple representations, we have added some types of things more specifically where um, this is one where you look at functions in the multiple representations and they're different functions. The Common Core talks about representing different functions in different ways and comparing them. Well, I truly believe anyone who studied the multiple representations can do a problem like that because they've seen it all. So they can look at a table and talk about uh, a function, they can look at a graph, they can look at the symbolic and talk about it. But there are some problems that actually embed different functions in the same problem. 